Hey guys, this is finally my much anticipated Main Max hair install update video. Um, so the reason why I decided to put my extensions in this time was just, as I said, I had a giant bundle of hair sitting there um, and it'd be pretty useless. So I decided to put it to use and do one more install. Uh, my hair should be the perfect length by the end of my wear for this install. And I promised you guys a video, so here it is. This is kind of a step-by-step -step guide on how I like to do my install personally. I say that because other people may have different preferences on how to do their install, but this is what I find works best for me. And I also want to show you guys what the kit includes. It comes like this, comes with the instructional guide, the instructional DVD, the warmer that you'll need for your Tembond, the Tembond color you ordered, which comes in a little puck form, two handy hair clips, a tongue depressor, just joking, this is for stirring the Tembond, plastic eyelash comb that is used for picking out the fine pieces of Tembond in your hair when you're doing your uninstall. Now I can't remember if the comb came with it, but um, that's also good to have, especially if you're trying to section off pieces. The other things I added on would be a pair of scissors for cutting the hair. I added in two more clips, um, just because it's the way I like to section my hair, I need more clips. And my handy little guide. So this is where you put your hair in, and this is kind of like the splash guard so you don't get tembond on the rest of your hair. And of course, last but not least, the hair is included. So it does come packaged in a bundle on a weft, and it's folded up um, with a twist tie. So that's everything that comes in the kit. So stay tuned for the step-by-step, -step, and after when you come back, I will talk a little bit more about my install and a couple other things. So I will see you soon. A shoddy girl, I know you want me Cause you came back above me You got me where you want me You tease me, you taught me And you got me like wow Say I'm too young to be ballin' right now But so much money got them haters like how Someone tell her way to bring the bottles right now Right now, right now Bring the bottles to the Via Mommy, body got me like Mamma Mia a bad chick is what I need, yeah Time is money team, so you know we gotta be fly Play it in a cheap So she let me get it like three times So let's get it on my stage We can speed up, baby, we can get crazy Show K in the building like Bombay Money longer than a hallway, always I could put you in the pad, always Money right, yup, even on the wrong day I mean it's longer than taking the long way And she affiliated with the rock, Beyonce The kid getting in her head Kanye, I can't get much higher Kanye, <laughs> body in my soul Come take a spin, Bugatti is my coat Lottie daddy party till the time two Three number ones, I'ma start time two Take it over Put it work out Oh, oh So this is right after my main max hair installation. Um, you can probably tell that layers aren't blended. I was trying to do something, and I'll explain to you in a minute. I was trying to stagger the look. So you can see that there, it's supposed to actually be this long. It's the 16 to 18 inch Regal Remy that I was using. I didn't want it quite that long. Um, so this is before I'm about to blend my haircut. 
So you can tell that there's quite a few different layers in there and I need to actually blend that out so it blends. Um, it's going to go to the salon, but since it's snowy and cold today, I'm just going to do it myself. I'll, I'll show you the finished result after as well. And so when I originally started cutting hair off of the weft, this is how I started. So this is kind of like where the sewn in weft is, and this is when I started cutting it originally. That's why these pieces are so long. As I was going along, I tried to stagger it as best I could. So these pieces are longer than the first. And this one in the back. And that one as well. So you can tell that these would be separate defined layers. And my intention, instead of installing it all one length and going through the hassle of cutting everything, trying to blend it after, especially since I was going to cut my hair myself, I wanted to do that so it would already have the layered effect, but I couldn't quite remember what layer I was at when I was doing it, so that's why there's such a weird, dramatic difference. So, um, if you're going to do that, it, I think it's a good idea. You just have to remember what length of hair you're on. Um, otherwise, if you're going to go to a salon to get a cut, then there's no problem anyways. So after I go cut my hair, the next clip of me will be with my hair hopefully completely blended. So this is it. This is the finished look. Um, it took me about an hour to cut my own hair, and it's just because I'm very fussy. So hopefully it turned out well. Uh, my husband said it looks okay, but I guess we'll see when I get to work what everyone thinks. Um, so I've gone ahead and staggered all the layers. So just, yeah, this is what it looks like. So you can see I've gotten rid of those weird things at the very end. Um, so I'll show you the side, the other side, and the back. So that's it. Um, you could probably, I don't know if you could tell with the, the camera lighting on the back of my head, but the natural color of my hair, I dyed it too and I dyed it darker. For some reason it didn't pick up. So you can probably see the difference between my hair and the rest of the layers. It's just because it is quite a bit lighter. Um, I guess some people would think that would be summer highlights, but to me I know the truth and it bothers me. So I might go ahead and uh, just dye part of the top of my hair again. So it blends with the rest of the extension hair. So I, overall, I am pretty happy. It has basically taken me an entire weekend. Uh, I did a couple hours on Friday night, a couple of hours on Saturday. Um, yeah, put everything together, cut my own hair, and I'm done. Uh, this is the last time that I'm going to be doing my extensions. And um, I guess stay tuned in about six months for some update pictures to see how long my natural hair got within this last six month period. Actually, if you guys do do your own extensions and use the Main Max method or any hair extension method, I would love for you to post a video response or some pictures or send them to me just to see how your do-it-yourself project turned out because I like seeing those kind of things and I like doing those kind of things. Welcome back. Uh, so I hope that tutorial gave you a little bit better insight on how I do my installs. Um, sorry for the quality in that it wasn't really zoomed in, but um, yeah, that's what happens when you just have a webcam. My fourth install, um, and I'm at my two month mark with my current install, and I've actually only lost one bond. So that's quite a few less bonds than I lost during my first install, now that I actually have the proper method down and I found what works for me. Um, I'm wearing the Regal Remy in the 14 to 16 inches, and it's in the color number 4 slash 30, and this is what the color kind of looks like. So it isn't just one color, it's very, it's actually quite multi-tonal. And now for the actual bonds, I have nine rows in the back of my head, so kind of like starting from top to bottom, and on the sides I've got about six rows. So when you start off with your rows at the very bottom of your head, you want to leave enough hair to cover it. So if you're wearing your hair up like this, you want to have enough hair that's going to cover your extensions. So right here, you can't see the extensions, they're starting right about here, so you want to have enough hair to cover that on the bottom rows and along the sides right here. So the amount of hair that I have at the very bottom is this. So I have about this much hair at the bottom before I actually start my bonds at this row. With my rows, I have them completely just one on top of the other. Some people like to have one row of bonds, 
um, a thin section of hair and then the other row of bonds. I want to get as much hair in as possible, um, so I didn't do that. And for the placement at the top of your head with bonds, you could go higher than I did, but I like to give myself, again, a lot of volume, so I need a certain amount of my own hair so I can backcomb it. Um, if you don't tend to backcomb your hair, you could probably fit in like 12 rows instead of the 9 that I have. So I did end up using almost all of the four ounces of hair that I got. And this is all the hair that I didn't use, even though I maximized the amount of rows in my hair. So this much hair. It's quite a bit. As I said, I've only lost one bond, but I've also kind of cheated my way to doing that. So often I kind of feel throughout my hair and my scalp to see if I'm losing any bonds. And you'll be able to feel that because you'll feel your hair and the bond at the very tip is going to fray out just a little bit. So what I do, I'll pinch that bond back into my hair. You'll be able to feel it kind of fray and I just rub it together. So that helps my bond stay in a little bit longer. Once you finish your install, um, I would definitely recommend going to a stylist at a salon to get your hair blended, especially if you have shorter hair. This way they're going to cut a couple of layers into your hair so everything is blended and it's not going to look fake like you have extensions at all. Um, I was too lazy to go out that day to the salon, so I decided to cut my own hair. Um, I will have a video on that as well, not guaranteeing what the quality is going to be like, but uh, it took me about an hour and a half to cut my own hair, and I asked a bunch of people at work afterwards, and nobody could tell that um, I cut my own hair, so yay for me! So that's it. Um, hopefully you guys were able to get a better understanding of how I did my install, so it makes it easier for you. Um, I know people are very apprehensive about doing it themselves, and there is quite a bit of cost up front um, originally to test that out, um, but I mean, again, I loved it, but I'm a huge do-it-yourselfer. I also got a request to show how to wash your hair with the extensions in. I'll do that in a separate video. It won't actually be me washing my hair, but um, kind of simulating what I do and kind of the steps that I take and the products that I use. So thanks so much for watching this, guys, and again, thanks for all your support. I was actually able to make this video 15 minutes. Um, instead of 10 because of the amount of subscribers that I have. So thank you very much for you guys. And um, if you have any questions at all, feel free to send me a private message, post a comment below, and comment, rate, and subscribe, and all that good stuff as always. So uh, thanks so much for watching, guys. Bye for now.